joining us, Brad Moser from Flint, Michigan, where he is a quiz bowl coach and a substitute special ed teacher, and you're also a huge lover of game shows. Big game show fan. Uh, ever since I was three uh, days old, my mother tells me that I used to laugh and cry with the sound effects on Wheel of Fortune. So Really? I know. It's in you. It's in your blood. The bankrupt noise goes, and I start crying. I don't know. <laughs> but your favorite game show has to be... Who wants to be a millionaire? There you go. All right, Chad. You're in. You're in. Let's take a look at the money right. in your round one. Here's the money. Now, computer, please randomize all of that money for us. That is all hidden. Now, here are the categories to your questions. Okay. And, computer, please randomize the questions. And now, let's see where your double money is. Oh, fourth one in. Very nice. I like it. Everything's all shuffled. Are you ready? I'm ready, Meredith. Then, let's play millionaire. <laughs> Chad, which of these words can be used to describe both a deceitful trick and an ornamental pillow covering? Sham, hoax, fraud, ruse. I have an idea, but it's not strong enough. I mean, I hear sham and then I think sham wow. <laughs> I mean, but you wouldn't put that on a pillow. <laughs> I gotta ask the audience, Meredith. I'm not really no sure. No problem. Audience, Chad needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Okay, 95% believe it is sham, Chad. <laughs> I'd call that a pretty good number. Uh, yeah, I think I would too. I feel a little, you know, a little stupid, but that's okay. No, we'll, no, we'll, no. I know. Shouldn't. We'll go with a sham and we'll make it our final answer. You're a god. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Gonna start with. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Take it. Ah, the audience came through for you yes, big time on that one. Mail call is the next category. Okay. Though its editorial staff currently includes women, what magazine publishes its letters to the editor by having them all addressed to Sir? Esquire, National Geographic, The Economist, Popular Mechanic. Again, I don't know. I mean, I think Esquire might make sense. I mean, National Ge Geographic, Popular Mechanics, and The Economist was another one I'm thinking of. I mean, I don't think of any traditional female economists. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to jump. I'm going to jump the question. Okay. Question is out of play. Let's see the correct answer. Okay. It was The Economist. All right. I probably would have went with A, so that's good. Okay, good. Let's, Let's see how 100. much money is behind this question. What did you forfeit as a result of jumping? Okay, 1, good. I like it. Not, that works for me. Money. Yeah. And by jumping the question, as you know, you're one question yeah. closer to a million. Now just 12 away. One question away also from double money. Yeah. Latin for Swedes. Fittingly, the name of the car company Volvo translates from Latin as what? I fly, I roll, I jump, I slide. Well, I don't think cars fly or jump or slide. I'm going to go with B, I roll. Final answer. It is I roll. <laughs> Absolutely right. You're scaring me, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see how much money is behind this question, please. Yeah! part of our studio audience and audition to be on the show. Go to MillionaireTV.com and sign up now. Welcome back to Millionaire. It is Double Your Money Week and that Double Your Money question is coming up next to Chad Moser from Flint, Michigan. We mentioned when we first met you that you love game shows. Yep. What do you think about this double money that we've added to the game? Uh, for me, I think it's pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope so. Yeah. Let's, say, let's take a look at your board for a second. You've got $25,000 at this point. Okay. Just three questions in, 11 away from a million. And your next question, as we have said, is the double money yes. one. Could be worth up to $50,000. All right. Are you ready? I guess I am. All right, then let's play. <laughs> 
dystopian society of Fahrenheit 451, which of these businesses would be burned to the ground? Raymore and Flanagan, Abercrombie and Fitch, Smith and Walensky, Barnes and Noble. Well, I'm pretty sure that Fahrenheit 451 was all about book burning. So the only logical choice here, I believe, would be D, Barnes and Noble, final answer. You're gonna double your money. Yes. Yes. Barnes and Noble. Come on, 25. Come on, 25. 25. How much money is behind this question? Show me 25. Yeah! So much money. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, $75,000 in what, that even bank. If, even if you have it, that's a heck of a lot of money. If you have it, it's $37,500, <gasps> a heck of a lot of money. Yeah, you're 21 years old. <laughs> Chad, I want to remind you, you still have a lifeline. Yes. You're in great shape, 10 away from a million dollars. <laughs> God, I love millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Now you do. <laughs> children's games is the next category. Which of these children's games is also known as monkey in the middle? Hide and seek, keep away, hopscotch, red rover. Oh, well, keep away, there's somebody in the middle. You're tossing things back and forth. That would be the monkey in the middle. Red rover, you're running back and forth. Hopscotch, that's the chalk lines, hide and seek. No, it's B, keep away, final answer. You knew it from yes. the start. <laughs> What a great day you are having. My goodness. You got your double money question. Actually, we were going to pop it up. It was 25000 double to 50000 You look a little happy at that moment. Well, how often do you win 50 grand in 20 seconds? Uh, never, never. And I love that your buds are so happy, too, AJ and They're Ryan. They're good friends. What can I say? Very good buddy. Well, Chad, you don't even have to walk away. But at this point, if you did, you'd have 39000 If yes. that's half of 78000 which is great that's money. That's incredible. But you're not going to walk away because you still have a lifeline. Yes. Nine away from a million. Right. Five away from round two. At that point, you keep everything in your bank. All Am right. I correct? You are correct. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I you know ready? the rules. Are you ready to play? I'm so ready. I am so ready. Let's play. All right, Chad. Maine is linguistically unique because it is the only U.S. state with what? One syllable, the letter N, three vowels, five letters. Okay, well we can knock off D because Texas has five letters. The letter N, Michigan has the letter N, three vowels. We have Louisiana, O, U, and A, at least with the I. And Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, <laughs> Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, Nevada. I'm not, why not risking my money, Meredith? No, New no, no. Hampshire. <laughs> Keep going, I love New this. New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. The only one that makes sense is one syllable. <laughs> Final answer. You didn't know sham in the beginning, and you know this stuff. <laughs> One syllable is right. Wow. There better be big bucks yeah, behind this. Yeah, You sure did. How much money is behind this question? Yeah!
thanks to Double Your Money Week, today's returning contestant has banked $85,000 and is just, yeah, he deserves applause. He is just four questions away from round two from Flint, Michigan. Please welcome back Chad Mosier. <laughs> hey, so nice to see you. Oh. Yesterday, last time that you are a game show fan, have been yes. since the time, even before you realized you were your mom's Three said, days old. Three days old that you responded to the music of one of the game shows, mm -hmm. and here you are at Millionaire. Does this meet up to what you thought it would? Uh, yeah, I think it does. <laughs> I, yesterday, I made $50,000 on a question I learned in 10th grade. I don't know where you can go wrong with that. <laughs> no, I, I really don't. <laughs> I think it's pretty great. And your buddies are back, AJ and Ryan. What do you think of Chad's performance, guys? Uh, he's been incredibly lucky, and he's doing a great job. <laughs> this is, it's just unbelievable, Mer Meredith. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it is sort of surreal, the whole experience. Yeah. But for sure, if you look at the board, the board doesn't lie. You have $85,000. You're eight away from a million. Four away from round two, at which point you get to keep all of the money in your bank, and you still have a lifeline. Jump the question. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Let's play Millionaire. Okay, Chad. Which of these is the name of a human-powered aircraft and not a bird species? Gila woodpecker, gossamer albatross, Harris's hawk, Blackburnian warbler. I'm not familiar with much of human-powered aircraft or bird species, so. <laughs> I mean, a Harris's hawk could be a black hawk, like a chopper, but I, I feel like I've also heard albatross referred to in some sort of aircraft, so I'm not gonna take a risk with that amount in my bank, I'm gonna jump the question. I think this is a smart move, you don't know the answer, question's out of play, let's see the correct answer, please. Gossamer albatross, somewhere in your head, you yeah. heard that, but it doesn't matter, you didn't know. And there's no really big money left right. up on that board, so it's not much of a risk that way. What did you forfeit? Fantastic. I'll take it. I will take it. And you did jump one question closer to the million by jumping over that question. Now just seven away from a million. More importantly at this point, three away yeah. from keeping that sure. entire bank. Modern science is the category. In the 1930s, Joseph B. Friedman patented what invention after he saw his frustrated daughter trying to drink a milkshake? Tongs, cocktail umbrella, flexible straw, chopsticks. Flexible straw is the one having to do with drinking, so I'll make C my final answer. It's the only one that made any sense. <laughs> Money. <laughs> two questions now away from round two and keeping the whole bank. Songs of the 60s Ooh. is the category. Everybody's talking about bagism, shagism, dragism, madism, ragism, tagism is the opening lyric in what hit 1969 song? Leaving on a jet plane, Proud Mary, Give Peace a Chance, Honky Tonk Women. You know, recently, I downloaded some Beatles music mm -hmm. and John Lennon music. I mean, I can... So where am I at in the game again, Meredith? You are at $85,100. You're out of lifeline, so if you choose to walk away, you'll walk away with $42,550. If you get this question right, it could be worth as much as $5,000. It'll put you one question away from round two, where you get to keep everything in your bank. You're six away from a million. Now, you said you downloaded some John Lennon yeah, music. Yeah, I've got 5,000 and 2,000 left. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I can hear everybody's talking about bagism, shaggy. I'm not, I'm not familiar with leaving on a jet plane or honky talk women. I, know, I don't think it's Proud Mary. God, this is so much money. Yeah, you have 500 in your bank at home right now. Yes. Because, so this is 
a lot of money. I mean, but you know what? It'd be more. Yes. And I, this is one of those songs where I would sing, a, a, I think I would sing along with it. Everybody's talking about not know the lyrics. See, final answer. Oh, Chad. Sorry. It's not it? It's it. Oh. You got it right. Don't do that to me. I'm so fragile right now. I'm gonna have a heart attack on the stage. That was so wrong. Very wrong. I'm sorry. Yay. But the money is so, okay, so right. Let's see, let's see. Is it 5,000 or 2,000? Give me five. Thousand? Sure, I'll why not? I'll give you two. $87,100. One question away from round two. Let's see if Chad can do it right after this commercial break. We are back with Chad Moser. I gave him a hard time on that last question just a bit, but you got it right, which is very exciting, down to the last question in round one, we know it is worth $5,000. Get this right and you'll be on to round two and you'll have all the money in your bank. Already you have $87,100. Are you ready to keep playing? I'm ready, Meredith. All right then. I'm ready. Deep breath, let's play. In England, if you love someone a bushel and a peck, how many gallons of love are you feeling? Six, eight, 10, 14. Before I came on the show, I figured I should probably start studying measurements. But I never got around to it. <laughs> See, you just got me back. I got all excited. I was so, so excited. I, there's no way I can reason this out without knowing it. This might have been a good audience question, but I am more than happy with walking away with half of my bank and that is my final answer, Meredith. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Good move, Chad. The answer was 10. Okay. So you know that now. You're walking with $43,500. That is so incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Thank you guys so much.